I've been a member of the Consumer Electronics Society for about 55 years. Uh, I joined uh, while I was still a student uh, in college. And uh, I, my first society that I joined in IEEE was the Consumer Electronics Society. I think I have been the members for the last five, six years and I have been involved in several roles in the conferences. There's a guy named Hans uh, Braunbacher, uh, who was the president at the time. And um, I, I was involved in uh, digital storage uh, used in consumer electronics. In fact, I wrote a book on uh, digital storage and consumer electronics. And uh, he asked me if I'd be interested in getting involved in the society. So I joined it and then I got elected to be on the Board of Governors. And uh, I think total I've been on like 12 years or something like that. I think I've been here more than a decade. Uh, I was always interested for C Society. I've been in Computer Society, C Society, and other societies of IT. I joined to ITPLE around 20 years ago because one of my colleagues at my university uh, was uh, belongs to ITPLE, and he told me about the activities, and I joined around 20 years ago. And during all this time, I has been member, first student member, later regular member, and nowadays I'm senior member. Oh my, uh, I've been a IEEE member more than 30 years and I've been a Consumer Technology, Consumer Electronics Society member for maybe 24 uh, four, four years, 24 years. I joined the IEEE, I'm not sure, I think either 1965 or 1974. <laughs> And I joined the Consumer Electronics Society in 1997 when I came to Singapore. This is a long history. I joined IEEE back, uh, so I'm with IEEE almost now, um, more than 27 years. I joined the society in 2013. Being a member of the society allows you to network and meet peers who are doing uh, very interesting and exciting work and research in the field of consumer technologies. So the major advantage is that you get to know about the latest consumer uh, technologies and uh, what is happening in these, uh, for example, the smart home environment, smart technologies, virtual realities. You get exposed to several upcoming things. IEEE has so many benefits and advantages uh, in terms of publications, uh, conferences, uh, uh, networking, uh, standards. The best, most important advantages from my point of view to, to belong to Consumer Electronics Society is that I have a lot of friends here, a lot of contents around the world, and I can discuss with a lot of people about engineering, electronic engineering, consumer electronics, uh, in a very relaxed uh, framework. Uh, relative to uh, joining the IEEE and the Consumer Electronics Society, I find that there's a uh, primary benefit is the networking opportunities, the ability to interact with uh, other colleagues of mine, uh, as well as uh, some of the, the authors and other professionals who attend the conferences and uh, publish in our various journals. I grew up in the world of consumer technology uh, as a kid, my father made gear for the television repair industry, so this is, in a sense, my, na my native territory. What's new, though, is with software and everything, consumer electronics has changed, and we're starting to build our own devices and be more creative. And what I see is this, working with the Consumer Technology Society, is a chance to take all these technologies where they meet the real world and create things you know, people can not only use, but can create their own solutions. You meet a lot of colleagues, you uh, network, you learn about the things a little bit before uh, everyone else. But uh, in particular, when you're a young professional, it helps you to establish really uh, profound uh, connections uh, that will serve you in the future. Uh, C Society. Uh, makes me learn more uh, end-user products and uh, more electronics products which goes for mass market. So that uh, kind of excites me to be here in the C Society. The real importance of joining a technical organization like the IEEE, and in particular in, in getting involved in a society that focuses on something that you're working on, is that it provides you with networking, 
uh, connections, uh, resources that can help you in your career. And I really see that organizations like the IEEE and the societies in the IEEE can be your professional home and help you throughout your career, uh, help you uh, uh, find friends, associates, uh, colleagues that you can uh, do things with and uh, to learn new things and to, um, because many of us will end up doing a number of different activities, a number of different uh, things over the course of our careers. And to do that, and to do that well, you need to be prepared. And being prepared is being aware of the new developments uh, in your areas of interest um, and getting involved in them early enough that you can make a difference and that you can find uh, opportunities and resources when they become available. Consumer Electronics Society changed their name to Consumer Technology Society to reflect the changes in the industry. Uh, many years ago, consumer electronics products were single function standalone boxes. And uh, as technology has evolved, we see things that are more software intensive, that are more uh, connected. We have applications that run on tablets and phones. And it's moved from things that are traditionally just electronics to things that are technologies. Electronics seemed like it was too much oriented on hardware. And nowadays, if you just think about you know, our consumer devices, uh, like our phones, for instance, you know, there's amazing hardware in this thing. It has all kinds of uh, accelerometers and radios. The reason why they uh, why I changed the name of the society was to, to make sure that people understand and includes every aspect of technology that creates hardware, creates software, creates services, creates businesses, uh, creates uh, the environment and industry that, uh, that Consumer Electronic represents. At IEEE, um, technical activity boards approved the changes uh, based on the recommendation of the Board of Governors of IEEE Consumer Electronic Society uh, th this year in January 2019, uh, last year, January 2019. And the technical activity board approved it in June uh, 21st and um, the IEEE Board of Directors, the final approval for the name change was uh, September 26 and will be effective basically uh, in January 2021. The name will be IEEE Consumer uh, Technology Society and by the way IEEE Consumer Electronic Society is one of the oldest society in IEEE history. I think uh, uh, by renaming that, uh, it will bring both the software and the hardware side under one umbrella. So you can say it may, re it may result in a lot of interdisciplinary projects and research in the near future. Probably consumer electronics is too, too wide. So it means the focus of the society sometimes is not very clear. And also electronics sounds like a bit old, it means not a lot of people are thinking that consumer electronics is only electronics, and this is not true. Nowadays, consumer electronics is it's really a group of technologies, not only electronic. So this is the reason why the Board of Governors of, of the society decided to change to consumer technology. Consumer electronics uh, is really more the activities that our members do nowadays. So, I think it's a good idea to change. We need to stay on top of the things and we need to acknowledge uh, changes. Uh, because branding is a very important part of anything that you do and it ends up affecting uh, authors who decide to participate in our publications and also people who tend to uh, attend our conferences and meetings uh, they will now have a better understanding that we are not limited to just the hardware and devices alone. And so we are expecting, uh, even though the coverage of our, our topics will be largely the same, we're expecting that a lot more people, members, engineers, will be interested in being involved with our society because by calling it the Technology Society, uh, they'll understand that we are dealing with a very broad range of topics and interests, not limited to devices alone. Consumer technology, consumer electronics is one of the drivers of, of the economic nowadays. So uh, this society should be close to this develop of the economy. But 
it's a bit difficult, but uh, the current president, the current board are doing an extra effort to, to, to join some companies to the society. So under my point of view, the future of the society must be related with the integration with the industry and also with the academy, but with the academy is more or less very stable nowadays, but we need to do an extra effort to involve the, the industry. The society already took a really, really a huge leap uh, to change. So in the near future, we will continue going uh, this uh, direction. We already changed the way how the conferences are organized. We changed the name and uh, uh, this all will help us stay on top of the things. Uh, we have conferences that we have to reshape these conferences uh, to be good quality, good attendance, and good qu uh, quality of technical program itself. And also we have to associate another program which is uh, related to industry. So there will be two programs uh, running together. One is the, the conventional one, which is the technical program, and the other one will be industry programs. And also we have to improve our uh, publications, uh, the transaction on consumer electronics, uh, uh, we have to make it more uh, uh, efficient and more uh, uh, successful. And similarly, we already did with the consumer electronics magazine. Uh, we have, just in two months, we have special issues uh, with the industry. It is uh, consumer, uh, it is um, security and privacy in consumer electronics. Uh, uh, devices. Uh, society, as far as the scope is concerned, is excellent. I personally like the scope quite a bit. And uh, if we involve uh, more variety of academic from US, uh, India, and uh, China, Japan, and so on, and uh, we get more industry, I think we have uh, very good chances of uh, becoming a much larger society in the future. We're going to be, have to be, you know, participate in a much more agile uh, world. And the IEEE needs to really transition from a traditional focus on well-designed hardware to systems, software, and, you know, a new world. I'd like to see the IEEE Consumer Electronics Society partner with uh, groups. CTA is one of those, the Consumer Technology Association that puts on the CES. But I think there's a lot more as well. And I think IEEE uh, Consumer Electronics Society should be engaged with IEEE young professionals. Because if you think about it, all of us, and particularly about the young, younger generation, are so tied in, and the electronics, the consumer electronics that are part of our daily life, are such an important part of what they do and the way that they work with each other and with, with other people, um, that uh, we need to engage them to remain relevant, but also to be able to find new um, and exciting developments and uh, capabilities that will create the next generation of consumer products, um, create new businesses, and generate great wealth. I think you will see a tremendous growth in the number of members because I think uh, a lot of uh, new members will join because of the new uh, name that is from the CES to the CTS. So there are many uh, things that uh, we have to focus on the society uh, development and, uh, and make it more active and more beneficial for its member and for the community, academia and industry. CES for me is a thrill to learn new things. A wonderful opportunity to meet with colleagues from all over the world. A family of friends, a family of engineers. Basically where the rest of the technology, the IEEE, meet the real world. It's a plethora of opportunities both in the career-wise as well as the research-wise as well as to know the new technologies that are happening or that will be upcoming. It's a very good venue to learn what new products are coming to the market. The best vantage point or window in the world to understand the electronics industry, the technology industry as a whole, uh, not just limited to consumer applications. I think it's enriched my life. It's led me to meet a lot of great people. So for me, IEEE Consumer Electronics Society or IEEE Consumer Technology Society is very important for my career, for my research, and um, and I think I'm in the right uh, 
in the right place uh, and in the right society.